Welcome back to the channel. Greg here and I, A, I'm testing out a new wireless microphone. Uh, let me know how you think it sounds and B, I am going to try out my C-Star and try to go to the sun with the new Mosaic firmware. I think people have been having problems with that firmware. Uh, in some cases, people have said that it may have bricked their C-Star, but uh, I had um, pretty good luck with it. I uh, disabled the horizontal calibration. I think that might have been some of the problem, but I also heard Count that, Ready to all right, well, I also heard once I connect, I'm going to have to apply yet another update on the Mosaic update because uh, I, I've heard that there have been several updates since then to try to address problems certain people were having with the initial update. So let me see if I can go ahead and connect here. Oh, update firmware now. So this is something that I really, really do not enjoy. Um, 2014, I got a Celestron 8SC with a C, uh, not C Star, but a Star Sense. That's what it was. And I upgraded it once in 2015 and I never updated it again until last year. That's almost 10 years because the uh, Star Sense did everything I needed it to do. I didn't want to take the risk of some update crippling some, some job or some process that I was using working fine for my particular needs. And so with the forcing of installing each and every update as it comes, you're basically forced to go along with the group. And when the Sea Star first came out, people would take it out of the box, set it up, and it would work flawlessly. Now with all these updates and enhancements, it seems like there are more and more problems in the Sea Star, in my opinion, could potentially become less fun to use because of that. But we are going to go ahead and apply the firmware now and, well, uh, take our chances and see what happens. This is, um, yeah, like I said, I am not thrilled about this. It seems to be going pretty fast. I guess it's transferring from the phone to the C-Star. Okay, it's installing now. Okay, updating firmware. Roger that. And yeah, when I first got the C-Star, if you go back and look at my first look video of the C-Star, I literally took it out of the box, installed the software on my phone, went outside, and since it was during the day, I did a go to the sun, and it magically just went there the first time. Uh, it didn't ask for a level because I was already level. It was just awesome because it just plain out worked. And that's why it was perfect for the beginner. Now, with all these updates and everything, it's becoming more and more complicated. And I'm going to claim less cool. So let me know what you think down below about that. But uh, yeah, we're just going to sit here and wait until the firmware installs be back after it installs. All right, so I am firmware's uh, installed and I will go and find the uh, current version of the firmware. This is uh, December 8th, 2024. So that'll help locate what the current version is. I'm gonna open the arm and install the solar filter. And then we are gonna go to the sun. I don't wanna get so excited that I uh, go to the sun without the solar filter, so. Now open the arm. All right, the solar filter is installed. And as a reminder, when I put the scope, when I put the C-Star on the ground or my portable table, I have the on-off switch pointing east all the time. I've uh, kind of calibrated myself to do that. And then that way, uh, the orientation is always correct. Let's... Uh, over here on the C-Star. Okay, so firmware 3.58. So advanced features, execute enhancement after go to, save each frame after enhancing. You definitely want to do that. So let me see, Sky Atlas Sync uh, auto shutdown. Hmm. Okay, so let me go to calibrate and all right, well, let me see how we are with the level. Please level your C-Star. Ooh, we are way off. So I am going to adjust the level. Okay. 
Okay. That's really good. Uh, I do not have the newer levelers. This is just a regular tripod that I've adjusted. So this is pretty good. Okay. All right, so now we are gonna go to the sun and uh, see what happens. Install solar filter, check. Finding the sun. Let's see if it finds the sun correctly. All right, it's going to find the sun. It, uh, it successfully found the sun the very first time I ever set it up. So I am expecting perfection here. So we will see. Looks like it's going in the right direction. Ah, I can see a little bit of brightness here. Is it gonna do it? I tried this uh, right after I, it looked like it went past the sun. So I tried this right after I did the mosaic um, update back in uh, a few months ago and it uh, it did not find the sun and I thought maybe it was because it was like semi cloudy out um, I would have thought it would have still found the sun in the misty clouds but it wasn't able to do that so uh, now it is clear looks like it's going back toward where the sun is there is a bright spot here it should be able to sense that Come on. There it is. All right. It found the sun. Very good. All right. So let's do an autofocus. Ooh, got some sunspots there. I should get my Coronado out. Autofocus completed. Very nice. All right. So I will go ahead and take a screenshot and you hit the triple the triple dots up there and you click share and you get this cool screenshot here and then you just load that in Photoshop and crop or whatever you need to do. But that's basically um, how I take all my images of all the objects. I rarely uh, enhance the fits files. All right. So here let's go to two times magnification. And OK, so I will take a screenshot there and this image right here will be roughly uh, I think it's going to be about half the size of the previous image frame in here four times let's go ahead and do that and I'm going to hit the dots again and then hit share and all right so enough of that let me go and do a refocus here to try to focus in more on on the sunspots and I do think that that is an improvement all right so uh, let me focus again Auto -focus. Auto -focus all right let me take another screenshot and all right there you go that is it for the latest firmware update I believe it was 3.58 it found the Sun with no problem just like it did when it was brand new and out of the box so I am thrilled about that and I am expecting big things with this new uh, firmware update for the Sea Star. Let me know what you think down below, everybody. Clear skies, everybody.